Good morning! It is 7.35 on Thursday. I actually woke up on time today, which means I'm just gonna have a good day as it is, you know? It's just the way of the world. I made my coffee, as you guys can see. I drink an iced vanilla latte with oat milk, and it is literally my favorite thing in the entire world. So this is like basically my breakfast most days, but I am going to right now reply to some emails and send out some emails that I'm gonna get motivated, start cleaning my house, do my filming. I'm just gonna have such a good day today. I can already tell. Update you guys, I got breakfast. Dalton made me breakfast. This lighting right now, it goes hard, but we are going to be cleaning my house. It's a little bit of a mess. My boyfriend left for class. He has an exam this morning, so I'm gonna clean the house and surprise him for when he comes back. We have to have the comfort movie on, of course. Monster Inc., one of my favorite movies ever. I can literally recite every single word to this movie. No lie, it is my party trick. <laughs> Fun fact, you guys, when I first moved here, I didn't really have a job lined up because it took me forever to transfer to the Ulta that I'm at now. And so I would literally be like a little stay at home, little girlfriend, and I would deep clean my house like every single day. I think back to that time in my life, and I look at it so fondly because now it's like pulling fucking teeth to get me to deep clean my house. And it used to literally make me so happy. I had the cleanest, most spotless house. And I just, I'm really needing to channel my energy again. I would love to be a little stay-at-home girlfriend and content creator and fill my silly little life every day. But, you know, this is the reality of having a job and creating content and posting consistently every single day. So we're living in it, but I just want to be like, I know there's no such thing as perfect, but I just want to be perfect. I'll clean my house at night before I go to bed. I want to wake up at 7 a.m. I want to eat breakfast. I want to shower. I want to film and be done filming by 12. That is the ideal life. The only thing is I have a job. If I could remove the job from the situation, everything would work out. But we're getting there. So um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Make sure you hit the post notifications. I love you guys and I love your support. And I just, I want to be a vlogger. I want to make this happen so bad. I'm out of paper towels and I fucking forgot. That's okay. We're going to clean our house with microfiber towels. Um, there's nothing I want more in life also to, than to go to Disneyland, California because of the Monsters and Coal, like, scream laugh floor thing. <laughs> it's like my dream, you guys. Also, one of my goals for today is to take down all my Easter decoration while I'm cleaning because I forgot how early Easter was this year, you guys. <laughs> kind of sad. I didn't even have stuff up for super long. Ooh, this really makes my apartment look so cute.
I feel so funny. <laughs> Why do you look so funny? <laughs> Don't make fun of my fucking mom. Sorry, Rocky. Go watch up, okay? Hey, what's your name? And I said, and then he said, Figs, and I was like, haha, so funny. <laughs> Yes, I realize I'm not wearing a stupid name tag. God, get out of here. We're taking a break from cleaning to eat some lunch brought to you by Dalton once again because I am not an independent woman. Don't ever listen to anything I said in the past. No strong I, independent women here. I do need a man to support me and to do everything for me. My brain shuts off as soon as he comes home. So that's just how life works and that's just how I'm willing to live for the rest of my life. I want to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. Please. Anyway, you guys might notice from my vlogs that I eat a lot of ramen because I feel like this is not the first time I've eaten ramen in a vlog. Unless it is, then I just sound like an idiot. But. Also, I cleaned my entire house. I'm very proud. I swept and mopped everything. The kitchen's clean. The bathroom's clean. The living room's clean. I dusted. It's a process, but we did it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we just got out of the shower. As you guys can see, nothing is better than taking an everything shower after you have a nice clean house. You cannot tell me otherwise. I already put like my body butter on and everything. We're doing our whole routine today is Sol de Janeiro. Ooh. Sol de Janeiro 62, the original. I love her. I used the body wash, the bum bum cream, and the spray, and I just like love it. It's literally just the smell of summer to me. Like when I first moved to Florida, that was like the body wash and stuff that I bought. And it just reminds me of living in Florida. So these are the products that I use in my hair after I wash it. This is the Bumble and Bumble Repair Cream or like the Bond Building Repair Cream. It is so, so, so nice. I use about that much in my hair. I like to put these products in my hair while it's damp, obviously. But I like to like slick it back into a clip while it's still wet and then let it dry like mostly like that before I blow dry it that way I'm not doing like a ton of heat damage to it I don't know if that helps or probably makes it worse but it's fine it works with my filming and everything and then I'm gonna go in with this from Pureology this is the 21 spray from Pureology multitasking leave-in spray I do like that much this stuff smells incredible so does the bumble and mumble stuff that entire bumble and bumble line is like my favorite it's okay let's do some skincare also my skin has been awful lately i am literally so textured like through here and on my forehead i have a bunch of these like clogged pores and stuff i've been exfoliating i've been using like all my regular products i don't know what's happening but we're gonna do a quick mask this is from benefits of the pore professional line it's the speedy smooth it's a quick smoothing pore mask it's perfect for when i literally just need a little boost of something for my skin because like I said, it's been rough and I'm about to go film and put makeup on my face so I want my skin to be as smooth as possible. So this mask is gonna stay on for three to five minutes or until the mask changes color. So I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm also gonna cleanse with the Benefit Professional Good to Clean Up Cleanser. This is the cleanser I use every single day. Okay, skincare speed run. So we're going in with the Glow Recipe. This is the uh, Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I'm almost out because my boyfriend and I both used it and now it's basically gone. So we have to spare what little we have left. Going in with my Lancome. This is the Renerge Serum. I like to use this. It's very hydrating on my skin. It wears really good under makeup as well. Eye cream, I'm using my Strivectin. This is the anti-wrinkle intensive eye treatment. This one I love, it helps with the creasing under my eyes. It's also very hydrating, which you wanna always have a very hydrated under eye before you go in with any makeup. That way you prevent looking cakey and crusty. And then for moisturizer, I'm going in with my Dermalogica. This is their stabilizing repair cream. I love this stuff so much. It's super thick. But it's really, really good if you have a dry skin. A 
I'm filming for my TikTok channel, you guys, or my TikTok page. I'm doing the full face of Tarte. I'm so freaking excited. My base looks so good so far. They didn't send me a powder, so I'm just setting with a different powder, and then I'm going to continue filming, but we went for kind of like a pinky look today, and I am obsessed with it. Okay, I went ahead and set with powder as you can see. I also used a powder bronzer because we don't have one of those. But we do have a powder blush. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Blushing Bride. You guys, I love this. It's gonna match the eye look so well. Wearing makeup, I got a Tarte blush for a birthday gift as Sephora. And as I suspected, it matches the eye look almost perfect. I'm obsessed with how this makeup is turning out, you guys. <laughs> it literally looks so good. Okay guys, for highlight, they sent over an entire palette and go in with that gorgeous glow, which I love. Okay, I lined my lips with more of a pinky nude lip liner. For lips, we have one of a million of these. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Rosebud. Good, and they smell so delicious. Makeup is done, I'm gonna go snatch my hair real quick and then I'll be back to finish my filming. Okay, I threw together my hair real quick. This has been like my go-to style recently. I think I said it in my last video, but it's literally just so quick and easy for me. And now I'm just gonna finish up my filming. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I am absolutely obsessed. Let me know what your favorite Tarte comment. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Welcome back to a full face of Tarte Cosmetics. Ow, bitch, I die. Okay, you guys, we went to the grocery store. We got some stuff for dinner, so we're gonna make our girl dinner. The amount of times a week that Dalton and I have different dinners is pretty often because I hyper fixate on foods while he gets bored of foods really quickly. So I just wanna make like the same things over and over again. Tonight, I'm making a pizza. I wanted to make a vodka sauce pizza because, oh my God, you guys, vodka sauce with fresh basil tomatoes and mozzarella so yummy but i don't have vodka and i did not want to go to the liquor store so we're gonna make a regular pizza but i am gonna do like a margarita style pizza but with some like onions because i just really like onions so let's prep our dinner together also it changed because i knew i was gonna be cold going into the grocery store wearing what i was wearing so now we're wearing this but what is a day with me without five different outfit changes this is the pizza crust that I love to use, which is so silly because it's just Pillsbury, but it's so yummy and flaky and I like doughy pizza. Pre-bake for eight minutes and then put your toppings on. So I think I'm gonna preheat my oven now. Yeah, so bake it for eight minutes and then for six to 10 minutes longer with the toppings on. my pan that would not have been good it's like a long rectangular pizza girl dinner i'm so excited and this is so hot so i have to be careful but i'm just gonna take a spoon spread it i'm gonna go in first with the onion the last time I ordered a margarita pizza, it came with like some weird ass toppings. Like there was these little like peppers all over it. I was so confused because it was definitely not what I ordered, but I love making my own because I can make it exactly how I want. And I know that onions are not normally on a margarita pizza, but like I said, I love the taste of red onions. I think they're so yummy and so sweet. Then I'm gonna go in with my tomato. I love to have a lot of everything in every bite. Okay, that should be fine. My mozzarella, kind of over the topping so it locks everything in. My mouth is literally watering, I'm so excited for this. To our basil, I'm just gonna pick them off the leaves. So yummy, you guys. Fresh basil, the flavor of it, the sweetness with the tomato and the mozzarella, I could go on. Drizzle olive oil just over the top, just lightly. This is girl dinner if I've ever seen it, you guys. Look how freaking cute and yummy that looks. I'm so excited to dig in. This is where I like to eat my dinner or all of my meals, if you didn't notice. But this is where Chance likes to take his nap. I don't want to kick him out. Look at him, sweet face. Uh... 
Let's play today's game of is UPS gonna stop here and give me packages? 